Welcome to Silver Bar Keep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in lovely League City, Texas. Welcome to the snow edition of the Silver Bar Keep. Snowmageddon has been going on here. Um, it's just been crazy. Um, we have had 19 degree weather in League City, Texas, which is down south of Houston between Galveston and, and Houston. It just doesn't get that cold here. We've had snow and ice and all kinds of nasty stuff. People have broken pipes. Tons of people without power. People have been asking me. I've, I've had some really nice notes from folks. Uh, thanks for the concern, first off. Uh, we've had it great here. We've been very, very fortunate in the Anderson household. We had three hours of, of lost power Tuesday evening. Other than that, we've had power the entire time, heat the entire time, water. Uh, so things are going great here for us. Uh, fortunately, uh, not everybody in Houston has been that way. <clears throat> but uh, so on to, on to what we're doing tonight. We're going to take a look at Ritual Zero Proof Whiskey Alternative. Uh, Ritual's been around longer than almost any of the uh, non-alcoholic spirits that are out there on the market. They've been around for a long time. They've got the whiskey. They've got the tequila I used in a margarita. I will do tequila, their tequila version eventually uh, as, as its own show. Um, they also have a gin, and and this is this is one I've been wanting to try. You know me, if you watch this at all, I like whiskey when I drink, so I, I try to, to look at as many whiskey alternatives as I can. Uh, and it's taken me a while to get to this one, uh, but I'm glad I did. Uh, we got this at, um, at Total Wine. Uh, it's about twenty five dollars a bottle uh, here in, in Texas. So we're going to take a look at it, uh, and, and and they say right up front, just like most of the good non alcoholic spirits, this is not really meant to be drink. Uh, neat or on the rocks it's it's for cocktails but just to kind of get a profile like we always do we're going to take a shot at it here and, and see what it's like just bare before we we figure out what we're going to do with it um, first of all i'll tell you it's got this weird weird smell uh, and and i've tried this over and over again and, and i'm just going to just say it up front it's got kind of a funk to it when you first smell it and it's kind of a first pass smell it's kind of odd um Get your nose in there and smell it. You can smell the caramels. You can smell uh, the stuff that you would expect to have in a non-alcoholic whiskey. Um, it doesn't smell particularly like real, like alcoholic whiskey. Um, but when you when you drink it off of these, you can kind of get an idea uh, of what, what it's going to do when it's mixed with something. Uh, when you drink it, again, not much of a whiskey taste to it. A lot of heat. Uh... Ritual does this. They have a lot of heat in their, their product, uh, and it's and it's used uh, to really sh shine when you mix it in, in, a, in a cocktail. Um, it does have, what you do notice is, even though it has, doesn't have, it doesn't taste like whiskey when you, when you take it straight up, you do have that lingering kind of the burn down in there, and you get some smokiness, some really nice smokiness in there. Um, and because of that, uh, I chose to go with a... Uh, with a, a whiskey and coke um, and I tried a couple different things and this this is what works with this one um, and so that's what we're going to do tonight we're going to take a look at this in a whiskey and coke uh, so uh, with most of these pour a pretty generous amount um, of the product and what I what I noticed with this was that 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 smell even when you put it up at, at this point and even when you put it in the coke you still kind of had that smell so I kind of played with it a little bit, and, and I, I took some Fee, Fee Brothers uh, whiskey, whiskey Barrel Aged Bitters. Uh, th this is really, this is some good stuff uh, when, when you put a couple dashes of this in any of your whiskey cocktails, actually. So we're going to put just two small dashes of this, not much, just a teeny tiny bit. Um, go ahead and stir that up before we put the Coke in there uh, to get that integrated well. Add a little Coke going. And when you do that, now it kind of smells like a whiskey and coke. And when you taste it, it tastes like a whiskey and coke. This, this is really good. And it's one of those, it's, it's kind of interesting. I, I really am enjoying the heck out of doing these, uh, these shows because I'm getting to try some really cool stuff. And, and some products like this one here where you... If you just drank this straight or on the rocks, you would, you would probably be one of these people I see on the Facebook uh, posts that, oh, I dumped it down the sink. That's not how this is meant to be drank. 
it, it, it's clearly stated on the back of this, this is meant for cocktails, and this is why, because when you put it in the right mix, you put it with a Coke here, a couple of just tiny little dashes of that bitters. Um, and the bitter really, to me, I think, it just adjusted this, the aroma more than it adjusted the taste, because I did it without the, the bitters from a taste standpoint. Not a ton of difference. Um, I mean, there's some, obviously, because the, the bitters are, are very strong um, from a flavor and, and aroma standpoint. But they cut that funk out of the, the smell of it and just makes a wonderful uh, whiskey and coke. I've had one of these the last couple of nights prepping for the show, and I'm enjoying these. These are This is really good. Um, doesn't have the burn that you'd have in whiskey, but does have that burn uh, from the, the capsation that they've got in here. And it makes it a nice. Uh, in fact, it's, it's got enough to where you want to sip this thing. You take a drink of it, and you want to want to enjoy it because you really do get that long, long lingering heat afterwards. Uh, I like this product. I, I, I'm going to give this a four. This is uh, this is right. Um, you know, it's it's not the best thing that I've had, um, but it's this is a dang good product. Uh, it's a good solid product. Um, and if you like whiskeys and cokes, um, go for it, man. Uh, this this is ritual's got it going i, I use their uh their tequila in my margaritas and and i'll definitely be keeping some of this around so silver barkeep live well and drink smart